Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew and welcome to the longest day of the year. Yes, hello, happy summer solstice. This is where we play new games on classic consoles, except today we're going to be playing an old game. An and old, old oh. game on a classic console. Cla old game on a classic okay. console. We're going to be playing okay. Spider Fighter, mm. trying to get, trying to earn the patch. Yes. Got very close last time. I got 36,000 out of 40,000. Okay, okay. So this time I'm definitely going to do it. Okay. And we'll see how far you get as well. Okay, that sounds good. Um, Whew. Yep, it is is hot. A little bit hot today. Uh, Cats are hot. It's not too bad. You can it's a little see warm. the melted black melted. and white pixel cat yeah. on the floor there. And, uh, there's a gray one by my. <laughs> so we've got both cats in here us. with us. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts with all the lights so on. So what was the highest score you've managed to get so far on this game? Uh, 36,000, and we uh, did it about two months ago. Yeah. It's been a while, or maybe even three months ago. Um, I thought I'd bring it back and uh, try and finish off that game. Mm. Um, so this game is from 1982, a ways back. Okay. How long? 35, 37 years old? Yeah. We'll, we'll defeat it. Yeah. Um, I want to uh, say hi to everybody in the chat today. Mick Muse is back. We played his game last episode. Um, it was very, very awesome. What was it called? Cavern? Cavern? Oh my goodness. Terrible, terrible. So many names. <laughs> He's probably going to be able to type it before I get it. It is Deep Stone Catacomb. And he did it in okay. 30 days. No, is that what you no, just not played? No, not Sorry, that's a different... You're so confused. I am confused. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Stone Catacomb. Deep Stone Catacomb, yes. He did it in 30 days. 30 days. Yeah. Wow. Not 30 straight days, because he'd have to quit his job. But... 30 Fair separate enough. days, and he gave himself a challenge to do that. That's very that cool. Game. Yeah. And it turned out uh, amazing. We didn't, uh, weren't able to finish it. Yep. You played with Erlen. Yes. Yes, okay. On Wednesday, two days ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Very recent then. Yes. So, welcome back, McMuse. And Ice Bosta was not here last episode, but he is here today. And also RC7E has joined us as well. Welcome on a Friday evening. Mm -hmm to uh, zero page so i want to thank our twitch subscribers ground trooper johnny wc23 mr fix rc70 retro happy hour scorpion scorpion illuminati spiceware s ramirez 2008 tiki dan k and teat foes <coughs> and trey guy as well has joined us welcome and uh if you don't hear your name on your the twitch subscribers and you were a subscriber it doesn't let you know when you're subscription runs out oh I see, I see. <clears throat> so if you don't hear a name make sure you just click subscribe again to yes. get your next month subscription and you can support the show for free um, by uh, linking your amazon prime to twitch prime and click subscribe and make sure you also follow us on instagram and facebook and twitch YouTube, and youtube and all the things and atari age yes. forums everything <laughs> so i have a uh poll today so there is the poll. It should come in there. <clears throat> now, it's a very strange poll question, but I will explain after I list out all the options. So you may want to vote now. You may want to vote after I explain what the poll is about. And I have fixed it. I figured out you were only able to choose one option <laughs> every poll. And now I've set it to infinite. You can pick all the options if you want. You can so multiple options. So you can, but do you get counted four times if yes. you, if you vote four times? Yeah, well, not in the same category. So I don't think you can, can retract a vote, oh. but you can vote for option one, option two, option three, option four, option five, because some of my some of these are not ors, they're ands. Ands, gotcha. Yeah. Um, but are they are they weighted or are they counted equally? There is an option to weight them. Okay based on if you're a subscriber or not, but I don't do that. No, but I mean, if you vote twice, do you get no. a half vote for each, or do you get one vote for no, each? No, one vote for each. Okay. So, and that's how you would want it Good. for most most polls, I think. Um, the question is, do you feel that advanced VCS games like Galaga, mm -hmm. using the ARM processor, um, are having a negative or positive impact mm -hmm. on the homebrew development community? Now, let me go over the options, and you're going, well, how can Galaga be negative? It's an awesome game, right? Oh, yeah. But uh, somebody brought it up in the Atari Age forums how they felt it was a negative thing. Um, before I mean, you... Oh, yeah? 
Before you it. jump in, yes. explain to me what exactly an ARM processor is. Um, so the Atari by itself yeah. has a... What it does is executes codes one after the other as it's fed to them. Mm. And it runs at a certain speed of executing these codes. Okay. And this processor in the Atari was made in 1977. Yeah, yeah. It's very old and very slow, <laughs> relatively. Mm -hmm. Back then it was very fast, yeah. but now it's very <laughs> slow. Fair enough. <laughs> um, things like the Harmony Cart and Uno Cart mm -hmm. have an extra processor mm. inside of these cartridges okay. that run at a very fast speed compared okay. to the 2600. Um, so what these can do is you can send code to the processor in here, get it to do its calculations, and then spit it back, and then you're able to spit the code to the normal processor gotcha. to use. Like okay. if you want to do complex calculations that that was way too slow to do within one frame of, of mm -hmm. um, the game, then you can uh, offload it okay. to the new processor. Yeah. It's the new processor. So that's what an ARM processor is. Mm. And it's in both the Harmony Cart and the Uno Cart. Mm. Uno Cart's newer, mm. so it has uh, two and a half times the speed of oh, the wow. Harmony Cart. Okay. Yeah. But the same same style of processor in both. Uh, oh, the choice has got cut off. So listen closely, and I will... Actually, I'll paste it so you guys can see the... Uh, all the rest of the choices because you should yeah it did warn me if you make them too long you won't be able to v see them so i will paste in option four and five <laughs> you were like what i need to know there we go so there's option four and option five in total um option one uh this is primarily for developers so if you're a developer mm -hmm. you can answer this one the first two are for developers, the rest are for gamers. You can be both. Um, developers, uh, I will never be able to make a, good as, a game good as Galaga. What is the point? Mm. That's like negative. Um, and second one is Galaga is inspiring and makes me want to make more games. <laughs> That's another developer uh, answer. And the rest are gamers. Um, g people shouldn't be using extra processors. It's cheating. <laughs> Use the original ones. Mm -hmm. And my little footnote there is Pitfall 2 cheating. Mm -hmm. Because Pitfall 2 was the one and only game that had a processor in it Built during the, the original right? run. Yeah. So, and a lot of um, Super Nintendo games had extra processors on them. And I think some NES games as well. Um, so it's been used for a long time. Uh, number four, uh, gamers, without the ARM processor, games have worse graphics and sound. More people should use them. Star Fox, yes. Um, option five, gamers, I just like playing games. I don't care about the technology behind them. Mm -hmm. So you're like, I don't care, as long as the game's good. So those are your options there. Um, and you can pick more than one. Now, I fixed it. Fix the poll. Every time before where people were like, I picked other ones and it's not registering. Oh, it's just it registering the It was on the poll end. The one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. stinky cats. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so this is what prompted this question. Mm. Um, this was from the Atari Age forums. This was posted under the Galaga thread, announcing okay. Galaga. Yeah. Um, the demo, I think, coming yeah. out. It's from Andrew Davey. Uh, who made uh, 2,600 games such as Boulder Dash, which was a very, very advanced game, mm -hmm. not using an ARM processor. Yeah. Also, QB made, uh, he contributed the eight, eight, Atari Age Holiday Cart 2003, 2004, and the Atari Age Christmas <laughs> Greeting Cart as well. And plus, he did a whole bunch of uh, Commodore 64 games, um, and I remember playing his game back in the 80s uh, called Bop and Rumble. Okay. Um, it was like a a fighting game um, in the streets. You know, you just hit people and okay. kick people and defeated yeah. them and went on to the next screen. Um, uh, so what prompted him is uh, somebody said, the thing which some people maybe could fear a bit, I know that some people do, because they told me in other forums, that nor normal Atari 2600 games, which were in the limits of normal, unsupported console, could maybe not get the attention in the future anymore, no matter how good they look and play. Because users are getting used to ARM supported, and because of this, better looking games on the VCS. So, um, Andrew Davey responded to, It's a valid point. I guess what concerns me the most is I realized a few years ago that anything I wrote would have a very hard time competing 
with ARM based games, which it would make it which it would inevitably be compared to compared. And that took some of the satisfaction out of pushing the machine to the absolute limit without the coprocessor assist. I have little to no interest in developing for the ARM, but I still have interest in developing for the base hardware plus extra RAM. However, the reward for doing this, satisfaction and kudos, is being minimized, especially when you compare the development effort required between the two systems. I'm not trying to belittle the ARM-based developers. What they're doing is remarkable and impressive. But in response to the quoted section above, there's definitely that feeling that it's not quite worth it anymore. Maybe one uh, more uh, one more based hardware, hardware-based game for me, and I wander off into the sunset, and that will be it. Aww, so sad. I was, oh, the cat stink! Oh my god! You draw me it's to deal terrible. with that. Terrible. <laughs> um, uh, no, no. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. So that, <laughs> so that I couldn't leave this un, um, unanswered because we we look at a whole bunch of uh, games on the show. We look at arm. ARM-based games, mostly we don't look at ARM-based games. They are vanilla games without the, the use of the ARM processors on these cartridges. Um, some of them are 4K, some of them are go up to, you know, 32K, 64K. Um, so my reply to that is, I don't find it's the case that extra processor power of the ARM chip... Actually, I'll wait for Tanya to come back. We're almost done? Yay. Okay, my answer, come, come back. <laughs> my answer is, I don't find it's the case that the extra processor power of the ARM chip defines the success or popularity of a homebrew VCS game. Hmm. Take, for example, a recent game, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. That's an F4 32K game. It's, incredible, it's an incredible platformer that blew me away when we played it on the show recently. See the video below. It's not below. <laughs> in, in my reply, it's below. It has incredible level design, controls, graphics, and sounds, all without the use of an extra processor. Mm. Gameplay will always be number one, uh, has always been number one, and always will be. From all the way back to when games were just chunky blocks on the screen, until now where modern PC gaming has photorealistic high frame rate graphics. No matter how good the graphics are, if the gameplay is terrible, people won't play it. There are plenty of retro-looking games coming out on modern systems with amazing gameplay and low-res graphics finding great success. Two of my favorite 2600 homebrew games are Wall Jump Ninja mm -hmm. and Amoeba Jump, both of which are only 4K games, mm -hmm. and obviously not using the ARM processor, but have such unbelievable control mechanisms that I can't help but come back to them over and over and over again. Please don't make, give up making games. I don't see our community as a competition, as there are plenty of room for all levels of games. And, and I suppose it says, well, Activision games looked better, yet they were the same 2K, 4K, 8K, and 16K as other mm -hmm. makers. So they really knew how to use the hardware. How to optimize the hardware that they have. Yeah, yeah. without using any uh, additional ARM mm -hmm. processors. And there's still tons of people making games yes. without the use of the ARM processor. And... Uh, John Champeau actually answered this as well because it's in his thread of Galaga, mm -hmm. and he said, "I'm he's pretty much the only guy that's doing it." Um, the uh, Daryl Spice Jr. does use the ARM processor, but he hasn't made a game in a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. So um, John Champeau is really the only guy that's really doing it. Is it mm -hmm. like maybe a couple other ones? Yeah. But so I think maybe it's a, a an overreaction. To how you know really nice looking Galaga is, yeah, and yet he's just one programmer out of hundreds that are making That's games, true. yeah, and it's just maybe overshadowing, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So um, he also posted as well in a, in another uh, post. Consider the screens draw scroll system in Boulder Dash, which he he made. That took several years to get working and perfect, literally. I could almost have written it in an afternoon, well, certainly inside a couple of days, with an ARM speedy microprocessor to do the work. The ARM changes the whole architecture of the game, not just the timing. I look at Galaga and think, pretty much think, alas, I couldn't do anything that good, and that's disappointing. Mm -hmm. My reply to that one was, mm -hmm. in my day job, I'm a filmmaker. And while I fully know that I'll probably never make a, good, a film as good as Stanley Kubrick, it doesn't dissuade me from making my own films. Hmm. 
each person has a unique voice and their own perspective on the world. And that translates both into filmmaking and game making. Not everybody has the time or the programming knowledge to create some of these ARM processor games that have come out in the past few years, but that shouldn't be a deterrent to anyone interested in leaving their mark on the community. I have a dozen or so 2600 games that I want to make in the future. I think they'll be fun games that I want to play and hope others will too. They, they are games which approaches uh, they are games with approaches to gameplay that I've never seen made for the system. They probably won't be flashy with incredible sound and graphics, but they'll hopefully be fun and unique. I never looked at Galaga as the be-all, end-all when it came out. Yes, I was in awe of what could be done with this humble, unassuming <laughs> system that's only over 40 years old, but I found it inspiring and made me want to create games even more. That's the same feeling uh, when I come out of the theater after watching an amazing film. It makes me want to immediately start on a new film project. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah Aardvark as well is new. No co-processor. And mm. that is an unbelievable game. <clears throat> so I think he, he's, he's got his blinders on and looking at this one game and not seeing all the amazing development that's going on outside of John Shampoo's Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think it, it's true of anything. It, 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 it can feel like if you're doing something and you're working within restrictions and then someone breaks those rules, I get... Rules, yeah. No, but I get... I get you know, feeling dissuaded about Go ahead. taking the honest approach, if that makes sense. You know, yeah. um, I think, I think I, I, I can totally understand where that sentiment is coming from. I yeah, can. I can I too. Can. I, I can, I can see like, oh, I'm, I worked so hard on this game in this way. Yeah. And somebody could do that in an afternoon. He, he said he took, it took him sev seven years to do it on the, you know, vanilla hardware. Yeah. And he could have done it in hours with the ARM pro processor. So that stands to reason why don't you use it? If, if he feels it's cheating, then, well, yeah. then it's something he doesn't want to do. Um, but that's, you know, that he can feel that way. And some people do feel that way. It's like, oh, it's not sticking to the original thing. But then there's the example of Pitfall 2 which was put out in the original run mm. of the Atari. And nobody thinks Pitfall 2 is like, oh, no, you can't play that game. Mm. It's totally, totally cheating. It's not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Even DPC Music is done in software. Stella Stalking, Boulder Dash Demo 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So sad that I can't watch the stream in 720p. I don't have enough bandwidth. Oh, it's okay. However <laughs> you watch the stream, oh. it's all good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that would be an interesting point of discussion. Um, so I, I don't think it's cheating. I think it's just a different way to make games. Just like if you wanted, to, there, there was a, a feature film made on an iPhone. Um, that doesn't mean it wasn't a bad film. It was, it did very, very well. Yeah. And the, um, the filmmaker went on to make the, uh, Florida project. Oh yeah, yeah. A, a, film, a film I still need to, need to see. Yeah. 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 Um, so um, it's, it's not about... It's not about yeah, the tools you use. It's about the end product and what you put into the game or film. Yeah, and I and you know you shouldn't feel discouraged for working within the confines of something that exists. And I think where things become interesting, that and it's the same thing. Like you know, someone could say, "Well, why are you developing for this old system, and why aren't you developing something for <laughs> a new system?" That's the same. Yeah, exactly. It's the same argument. And and aren't you developing um, for PC or PS4? Because there's there's challenge and um you know there's there's a certain sense of nostalgia with working with those systems too yeah. and he said kudos as well it's yeah, like oh i did it with the original hardware yeah yeah so, so he, he is looking for praise for doing it with the original hardware yeah. so maybe he should you know s sing his praises more and go look what i did and yeah. because there's demo competitions like work within 4k yeah. make it the best graphics and best sound you can yeah within 4k yeah, but I mean, it, I mean, the same argument, like like I said, the same argument can be made, you know, for for any kind of system like that. And I think there's there's value, and and he should feel a tremendous amount of pride in 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 developing a game not using those processors. Yeah. Uh, in the same way that someone who makes a game that's really fun to play with an ARM processor should also feel 
you know, a sense of pride for, for making a game like that. And as you say, Definitely. Galaga was so exciting because it's a game that you love. You, I know you love that game yep. and, and relate to. And so, so, you know, you, yep. you can't help but have a positive reaction to, but in the same way, what you said, wall jump ninja is probably one of my favorite games <laughs> I've ever played that I've ever played with you on the Atari. Yeah. Um, I just absolutely love that game and it's extremely simple, but simple, well made, like really well made. And then like, simplicity you it's a simple game is not a bad game and some no. simple games are fabulous games to play yep. um there's just different different styles so yep. yeah and john shampo himself said he could have made galaga without the uh yeah. chip but yeah. it would have had to been scaled back yeah the graphics the sound yeah. everything like that but you know why not take advantage of what you can do yeah Trey Guy says, Pitfall 2 is a very different from arm and bus stuffing. Basically, you can now bu par partially bypass a 6502 and mm. just use just the TIA. Next step would just to be plug in the antenna cable on the arm and use the 2600 as a power supply. Mm. And that's how why people feel it's it's cheating quite a bit. Mm. Um, because these these cartridges, what what people feel that they're doing is doing all the calculations on here well doing all the work doing and, all the work yeah. and using that as basically a video card yeah i was gonna say and an it audio just shows card. shows yeah it's like put it out put it out put it out put it out and you're not using any calculations so i can so, see the argument here's yeah. a question for those of you who are more technologically knowledgeable could you put an insane processor in a cartridge like that and hook it up to an atari and do crazy things with it uh, within the limit of the video and audio that it can produce. Yeah. Yeah. So so you it's the video limited. and audio that's limiting, but yes. really the processor the power is unlimited. Is unlimited. Yeah. I would be very curious to see someone do that and and and, <laughs> and put some insane processor and just see what you can output on that They've, video and audio. I, I believe people have hooked up the twenty six hundred to their computers yeah. directly. Directly, okay. And it's just spitting straight information. Yeah. Uh, out of like a super advanced. I mean, these yeah. processors are pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm and, not saying they're not, but I mean, I don't still, know enough about processor power to really. I I mean. Judge that, but. Yeah, yeah. there's there's only so many things you can draw on a line. Yeah. On a twenty six hundred. Yeah. And it's only so many, I mean, the sound is a bit more unlimited. It's more limited by space for samples like if you wanted to do yes. digital sound yeah um but the video is very limited to like f five six six pieces of things you've got uh one uh one player a second player missile for w oh, yes. one second missile yeah a ball play field and background yeah seven seven things okay and there's tricks and mixes and matches of those things but there is hard limitations there are yeah to those things yeah yeah which so to it'll me, always look like a twenty six hundred. Well, and which to me makes makes it interesting, and and I think you're still imposing limitations on the games that you're creating, even if you add the extra processors yes. on, and it's, 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 it's just something different. It's just it's never going to look like a PS four. No. It's always going to have yeah. X number of lines on the screen. Yeah. I suppose it says homebrew carts for the twenty six hundred use ARM to emulate RAM and ROM. Why not use the extra cycles if available if you mm. want to? Yeah. So it's up to the person I, mm -hmm. I think it's totally up to the person if mm -hmm. if people don't like playing them I, I think they're worried about the end user going oh why don't all people make galaga mm -hmm. level games but I, but also somebody replied back to that it's like i think our community is a bit more savvy mm -hmm. than that like people know anybody who's collecting homebrew games for the 2600 has a little bit of knowledge about what they're buying they're mm -hmm. not they're not just a random person in a store going yeah. oh a new 2600 game yeah wow i haven't thought about that in a while <laughs> no, no no you have to true. be in you have to know the, the, the community know. you have to know yeah. the community yeah I so get I, th that. I think there is a bit of a bit more knowledge behind it yeah that, no, that's, yeah that's... that people know that there is these these yeah. processors um trey guy says uh, the beauty of retro programming about is about doing now with more knowledge and understanding yes. something that could have been done back then even with dcp if it was just about making simple games, we could do simple game on yeah, Windows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is about pushing the limitations. It, it pushing the limitations and having limitations. Yes. And and seeing how that impacts your creativity in a way, you yep. know? Yep. Yeah. Um, so the Stella Fundraiser Marathon 
yes. has been um, pushed back <laughs> just a little bit, yeah, just by two weeks, yeah. um, to give us more time to prepare, yeah, and make it even more awesome, yeah. Um, and so it'll be for 12 hours on July 12th, starting at 12 p.m. and going to 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. So now it all lines up. It's all 12s. It's all tw oh, very nice. <laughs> Pacific Pacific time. Yeah. Um, nice. So there's a whole bunch of donations that have come in from oh, wow. Daryl Spice Jr., John Shampoo, and Nathan Strum, and more in the works. Okay. Um, these are for auction. These very unique items, very cool items. One of them's Galaga, boxed, nice. signed. Nice. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of video call-ins. Okay. For already confirmed, Daryl Spice Jr., Dan Kitchen, John Shampoo. Mm -hmm. Possibly Thomas Yentz. Mm -hmm. um, he'll be on the road, so he might be able to call in. Mm -hmm. And uh, more people as they as they come in. I'll, I'll figure out who else. Yeah. We're going to have a Commodore monitor sitting right here. <laughs> so it'll be like they are in the room with us. Their yeah. face is going to be on Very there. Very nice. I've got an <laughs> HDMI to composite converter. So I can't believe you bought that. <laughs> so it'll actually be a CRT here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Very old school. Yeah. Very Max Hedrum. <laughs> I love it. Actually, yes. Max Hedrum. I, I never thought it. about that. <laughs> uh, when you showed me the converter. Yeah, you're like, why? I'm like... Why? <laughs> HDMI to composite. Yeah, Who would buy this? Yeah, it's a very, very specialized James, thing. James would buy this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I was actually surprised I didn't already have it. But I just, <laughs> I'm surprised too. <laughs> but it's it's so specialized. Like, why do you ever yeah. want to downgrade your video quality? Yeah, it's very funny. Um, we're going to have some high score challenges. Wall Jump Ninja. I'm going to reclaim my world record on that and my world record on Crazy Balloon. Somebody defeated it. Oh. oh okay. um, I want to increase my Draconian <laughs> World Record score. And we're going to play um, a single level Draconian challenge. Try and get the high score on just one level. Yep. Uh, we're going to get the patch on Astronomer. We're going to try. It's really hard. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to try and beat uh, Dianoid's high score on Amoeba Jump. Oh, which yeah. is 21,256. Wow. <sighs> So we'll see. I, I know I've never come anywhere near close at. You, you've you done pretty well in Erlen. Pretty well. I remember yeah, we had a retro gaming night and Erlen was playing and he was... Oh, he loves that game. Oh, he so. loves that game. He's really oh, good at Trey it. Trey so. has to bounce out. He doesn't have enough bandwidth to watch the oh, stream. Oh, no. <laughs> that sucks. It's only three megabits per second. <laughs> Time to up, upgrade your bandwidth. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and we're going to try and finish a whole bunch of games. Yeah. Night Guy in Low Res World, Spies in the Night 2, KO Boxing and AVGN KO Boxing, Lost Cat, Hunchy 2. What is happening out there? Nothing. Just cats chasing bugs. Noises. Um, <laughs> Isaiah's We Chase, The Stacks, and Deep Stone Catacomb we're going to try and finish. Because it's a brand new game and it's totally awesome. Okay. And it's an RPG dungeon crawler. I, I, I caught so good. a little bit on my lunch break. I did I did lurk in there yeah. for a little bit. I think I, I saw uh, Erlen playing that game. Mm. And I, is it, it, that's the one that looks yep. like a there's, Zelda clone, right? Yep. Then there's coins yeah, to exciting. collect. I can't um, wait to try that. Yeah, the replay on YouTube, there's downscale. You can go, go all the way down to 240 or something it's so you don't have to worry oh, about bandwidth yeah. when it's posted tomorrow on yes. youtube yes yes so. yes um and you can check out the atari age post for more information i will post that in the chat and it is a fundraiser for stella uh dev development so that uh we can get even more awesome um Stella versions that will maybe include in the future Uno card support, Uno development support, mm -hmm. so we can play Uno games. And there's always more things to add to it because people are constantly pushing the limits of um, Stella. Like CDFJ uh, has just been added to Stella like a couple weeks ago for uh, it's a new way of programming um, games which Galaga mm -hmm. uses, and it was added just for Galaga. <laughs> Um, so if you have any challenges for us, um, homebrew, homebrew games that you'd like to see us play, yes. high scores you want us to beat, games we should try and finish, challenges, any other ideas like that, just, um, post in the forum or maybe in the chat. We'll see it there, but definitely in the forum. So let us get to the game today, Spider Fighter. Yay! And, uh, see how well we can do so okay. we can finish it off today. Oh, there you go. I'll first. let you start. It's been a while. Yep. Uh, where's my remote? There it is. Mm. I'll switch it over. 
There we go. Oh, this game. <laughs> this game. I was I, I was like Spider Fighter. What was that one again? This one's a lot of fun. Trying to figure out what it was. Oh. Yes. Yeah, we did play it a little while ago. So. So. Mm. Any problems? Nope, not moving at all. Is it oh. plugged into the wrong one? No, I was uh, playing it this way. Maybe we need to reset it. Nothing. <sighs> I think it's this controller. It's been giving me trouble. Really? Yeah. Mm, troublesome. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. You just have to push to keep the. No, with original carts, you don't have to keep that down. So let's get the sound. Why does this? This seems extremely hard right off the bat. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Um, we will get to the settings because I think I it was backwards, it the setting, or maybe we thought it was backwards, but it wasn't. Oh, this is a good game. I like this game. <laughs> it's high action. High action. Oh, man. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Stay out of the way. They, it's, they're converting to spiders very quickly. <laughs> so... I do remember strategies. Go for yeah. things that were high up because the things low that down. are low yes. are going to shoot you. They only shoot when you are... Well, they can only shoot down where they are. So if you stay away from them and get to the edge and let them come to you, that... Yeah, there you go. Lead them a little bit. Um, so... It says... Left difficulty A is a regular game. It's it's on B right now. But I have to figure this out because I think the oh manual is printed incorrectly. Oh, yes, Remember? yes, yes. Yeah. Don't Left continually have those issues. <laughs> Left difficulty switch affects speed, firepower, and point values of insects. So we will find out immediately. Oh, I remember the expert game is harder to get the... Easier to it, get the high score. You, you progress faster, but it's harder to get the high score because it's so fast towards the end. Yeah. Do you remember we were getting really good high scores and realized we weren't on the expert? And then well, we, we don't want to be on the expert. You, you get, or you no, get the it's patch the opposite. for regular. It's the, it's, the, it's the opposite to what you think it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just make sure. If you score 40 points, 40,000 or more in the regular game, so there we go. So mm -hmm. you have to score in the regular game. And point value for the regular game is... 30, 50, 50, 100. So we can find out. Just shoot one thing. Sorry. Shot multiple well, things. Well, I, I, I don't want to die, so... No, <laughs> we want to find out point value. One thing. Shoot one thing. Easier said than done. Okay, there we 50. go. 50. And that is a... 50 and then another 100, so... 100? 100 okay. for the main guy. So this is right. And it's set on B. So that is correct. This is the level I want to start at. Yes. Oh, it makes me and, so and tense. I, <laughs> <laughs> you can hold it down, I believe. Oh, yeah. Or not. No? No. no. Maybe, maybe if I have megafire on? No. No, you don't. No. No, if the megafire was on, it would have. And we did try that, and it was terrible. Yeah. So be careful not to press Megafire. Your fingers are dangerously close to it. Don't switch it on. So every level you get an extra an extra life. I remember that. I remember um, the movement of the main spaceship, or whatever it is. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> the movement of the main spaceship follows a... a repeated pattern do you remember we we figured no. out what the pattern was but like i can't remember exactly what that is now the thing that drops everything yeah 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 master nest about where it is and then it'll drop Sometimes some it'll... really low oh yes um, where it drops it but i need to you need to get that watch you up. i need to watch you do it <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> to too high action. That so if i want to play along what are the correct left and right difficulties the correct Left and right difficulties are B and B. Actually, it doesn't say anything about um, the right difficulty, but we have it on guided pellets, which I found easier, rather than ones that go straight up. 
So it's like uh, Mega yeah. Mania, where you can guide your bullets. Yes, that's right. Okay, you go ahead. Okay, <laughs> you reset, because I'm playing. Like, uh, also, I think it's better to let them drop all the things and then shoot them because otherwise you're missing points, aren't you? Uh, you, you, don't get, get you get you get more points when there's spiders. I think we figured. Didn't we figure that out? Oh, they hatch, right? When once they hatch, I think you get more more for them. But the most dangerous ones are the ones closest to the bottom, yeah. because you can't really see them shoot. So they, if you pass underneath it, it might shoot you, and you barely have a moment to get away from it. But there's like a pattern and speed, and it, it and it repeats, from what I recall. Yeah, we have to get that. I don't know if it helped knowing that, did it? Oh, man. We should have written down all this strategy. <laughs> um, Just watch our old video. <laughs> <laughs> True. By the end, we were we, we had figured it out. Pretty much experts. Yeah, I think you do get more points when there's oh, spiders. bonus. Well, you get bonus for keeping all your fruit. Oh, yeah, because they do take the fruit away. I forgot about that, too. That was never really a concern. It was wasn't it? really a big problem. It was pretty rare that, that the big spaceship would steal your fruit. Yeah, because it takes a long time to do that. Well, in, in the higher levels, if I'm not mistaken, it does get to it a little faster. But like, See, if I lost you... out a bunch of points if I don't let well, it drop them. Yeah, if you let it drop them. And, yeah, there's always this level where he doesn't drop anything. Oh, no. No, but he waits. He waits a really long time to drop them. Oh, and I think we were waiting for him to drop. Yeah. Yeah, get to more get points. more points. And um, it's all coming back to me now. Um, <laughs> but but if you wait a while and there's a whole bunch of spiders on the screen, then there's a much higher likelihood you're also going to get shot. So. True. So yeah. Oh, he's dropped even more. Yeah, but he might steal your fruit. <laughs> so that's the key. Yeah. But I can shoot the ones he does drop. And then wait on the right hand side. All the way slam to the right. Or not. No, because he doesn't. Damn it, I knew it. Don't get extra when they're hatched. For some reason, I thought you did. He stole one. Did he? Yep. And I don't think you get an extra man when he steals it. You, you know, you don't get the fruit. bonus. You don't oh, get the your bonus. bonus that's yeah. What it is. And those bonuses add up. I think the lot. extra man is based on the, the your score, isn't it? Or certain levels. When you hit a certain level, or is it score? No, it's every level you get an extra man. Every level? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Not I'm confusing level, it with something but else. Um, no, every level, like every, every fruit turn. level. Yeah, every yeah. fruit level. Yeah. Or not. Ooh, I didn't get one. Yeah, you have to keep all your fruit, I think. Yep, you do. All three. You have to keep the fruit, and then you get a bonus if you don't die over the level, is that right? Yes. If you don't or is die or lose fruit. Yeah, die, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, I got, a, I got an extra man there. sure about letting him drop everything. It's kind of risky. Well, it is risky, especially when they get, um, when the play field just completely, and, and no, it's, it's, it's the low level guys that really get you. Yeah. Those are the dangerous ones. Sometimes they turn turn they turn spider really quickly. Yes. And oh, and they can't shoot. You can't kill them until they are a spider. I think. No, you can't. No, no, you can kill them before they're. Oh a spider. no! It's the main guy. The nest has to look a certain way. He 
he turns a certain way. That's what it oh. is. On certain no, on one has, level. Is it is it that Whoa, you can't you can't shoot him now. until he's dropped something, right? Yes. That's he it. has to drop something. It's, it's, it's panic time now. It's banana level. Remember? Yeah, banana level. Which makes He you drops shoot them fast. immediately and they become spiders immediately. Oh, and then, then there's always one of these where he... Ah, uh, he can shoot, but you can't get at him. Yeah, you can't get him until he drops something. And then he's... he's very, very selective. But when he drops... Yeah, banana level. Evil, evil, <laughs> evil banana level. Uh, oh. Damn it. Yeah, cornered. Yeah, banana level. Then it calms down again, I think? Yeah, after banana level. No, I think it's it's banana level forever, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> and that's and that's the problem because banana level is hard. Oh. It's hard. It's harder to get the higher score. Yes, that's right. It takes longer to get to banana level for the for the other expert level. Yeah, for the expert level. Expert level is crazy. It's so weird. That expert's easier. Yeah. No, easier to get a higher score, not yes. necessarily easier. What's wrong with this? Get it. Yeah. Forget the. Just kill it. Try not to die is, is yes. Thing. Wall of bullets. That's that's how I. Mm -hmm. Forty thousand. How did I ever get up that way? <laughs> you played for a long time. Don't follow them. Don't follow along. It's the lower guy. The lower spiders. Don't mess with me, cat. I see that look. Are you threatening? Oh, oh you're threatening, Pixel. Don't threaten the cat. <laughs> He'll threaten you back. He will. See? Oh, he's so cute. doesn't put up with anything. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, it's a wall of bullets. That's my strategy, I think. Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ken? Ken? <laughs> Ken? Ken? <laughs> Don't let him get up there. He's already wrecked it. Oh, he's distracting me. I'm looking Don't at him. Don't pay attention to him. <laughs> Don't pay attention to him. My fruit. Oh no, the fruits. Oh, he's up. Psst. He's looking at Don't him. Don't clump down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually doing okay. Ah! Drop something. Ah! Uh, I'm cornered. Oh, oh lucky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Oh, damn it. Oh, my fruit. Oh, I was following him. Damn it. Ah, uh, cornered, 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 cornered. You can see him. You can see him in the cat cam. <laughs> the yeah. Atari cam. Oh, damn it. I just posted, if you have all fruit and four ships, you get bonus. Oh, four ships. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's why. That's You're why not I'm getting not bonus. Getting... Get him, get him, get him, get him. Damn it. Yep. He's oh. like, made me die. Oh, I told you don't pay attention. I've got yeah, him. He's doing... He was reading... He, was across the he, he knows. He knows. He knows it's high stakes. Him? <laughs> He's the bad cat. It's just a cat. All cats are vicious and evil. <laughs> See, men. he's leaving now. Good. No! Oof. So Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh. Phew, you got one more? Okay, I'm running up. I'm getting more wine. I'll be right uh, back. Okay. 
bring the bottle down. I need a free a bottle cooler down here. Bottle chiller. Oh. I think the key is to not lose your lives early and get all those bonuses, because then I'm just not climbing very fast. Up the numbers. I remember before when I was playing, I mean, I'll do better next game, that, mm, that I was getting a lot more bonuses and maintaining my, um, my lives a lot better than last time. But I'm, I'm being able to maintain now. But I needed up at four instead of varying between two, one and two lives. I need to vary between, like, Five and four, actually four, four and three. Keep the bonuses. I'm back up to two lives. Okay, okay. Just need to survive a long time without dying. Get these, get my lives back up. I, I, I theorized that I, was, I did better before because I had all my lives. I was getting all the bonuses. Oh, it's, the bonuses do help. You get a, a slow substantial crawl up there. Yeah. You get, what, a 500 well, each time? Something like that. But I think, yeah, you just need to get in the groove of it. I mean, you get really high really fast, and you get to the banana level, so... But the bonuses do, uh, do matter. Uh, one more life I need to get. Finally! Bonuses! <laughs> well, I have to survive this to get yes, the bonuses. Yes, you do. Yeah, there you go. At least I'm back up there. Possibility. Ah! No, 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 no. The low ones are the better. Uh, evil. Damn it. Bad spiders. Back up again. Just like four enemies away from getting my. Oh, no, I'm just wrecked it. <laughs> Probably have a, a need to get a couple rounds in before you get a good. Whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa. still hasn't dropped on. anything. Oh, so. my God, that was a long time. Yeah. They, they go through... I told you, we figured out he goes, he goes through phases. And he has a phase where he doesn't drop anything for a long time. It's getting longer as the game goes off, though. That was a long time. Damn it. Damn it. Four. Stay. I need those bonuses. I'm so close. First bonus Five in a long hundred. time. You definitely have fast shooting. <laughs> Me? Yeah. No, you have a fast, oh, fast shooting. Oh, fast shooting. Oh, it's something. crazy. It's crazy at this. No! Oh. oh. the strategy is, is building a wall of of um, bullets yes. for them to cross paths with. with. I mean, yeah. It's not a perfect system. No. Because these guys are super fast. Now, and they're 39, 9, 9, 9, 9, 40, Woo! Uh, Patch earned. Is that what First you needed? First game. Yep. Really? Yep. Wow, that was... Well, and and now uh, Zero Page Homebrew has uh, <laughs> two patches. And, two uh, patches. Frost. Shortest shortest stream ever. <laughs> yep, it's over. <laughs> and now you're getting bonuses. Keep going. Keep oh, going. Oh, of course. Some games have um, two levels of patches. This one doesn't, mm. but some have a lower one and mm. a higher one. Oh. 
RC70 says three exclamation points, and <laughs> IS Post it says goal. Goal. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. That Sorry. Low Didn't spider. Mean to distract you. The okay. low spiders are evil. They're they're the worst. They are the worst. They're so fast and I low know, now. I know. I know. They go bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, I'm losing lives. Oh <laughs> my God. It it is still increasing. It. Oh my God. In difficulty. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I don't it, think it is getting, at all. I don't yes, think it's it changing. Is. It's getting faster. I don't think it is. I think it's the same. It's just getting worse. No, I, I I don't think it. I think at a certain point it just stays at banana level. Oh, I don't. Spiders are going with them back and forth instead of slowly. Forty-four nine ten. Four four nine ten. I, I'm not anticipating breaking the 40,000 mark, so... Fastest pattern ever. <laughs> oh. That was a very good run. I didn't think I would make it. I was at 20,000 in, like, one life. Oh, goodness. Let's read a little bit about the game. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Um, Spider Fighter is a fixed shooter designed by Larry Miller for the Atari 2600 and published by Activision in 1982. Your denim jacket is going to look rad as hell. Yeah, oh, yes! Patches all yes. the way down. Definitely need a denim jacket. Yeah. I don't know how much the Spider Fighter patch is, but it's a lot less than the uh, Frostbite one. That one is expensive. It doesn't need to be a denim jacket. It needs to be a sleeveless denim jacket. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Um, he went on to create Atari 2600 Racing Enduro for Activision, released in 1983. The manual states that Larry is the newest addition to the Activision design team. The object of Spider Fighter is to protect an orchard containing fruit, grapes, strawberries, oranges, and bananas from four types of bugs. Digital Press described it as much as much like the coin-op game Stratovox, but without the voice. Ooh. Have to look at Stratovox. Reception. Spider Fighter was not as successful as Activision's other fixed shooter released in the, earlier in the same year, Mega Mania. And that is a fun, fun game. One of my favorite uh, Activision games. Very hard, but uh, similar-ish in the shooting scheme mm. where you control your bullets. But it's waves, waves of things coming down the screen in various different patterns of movement. And then they go by you and come back again and you have to clear out the whole screen. And it goes to the next screen of different movements. Electronic fun with computer and games gave the game three out of four joysticks in May 1983. A June 1983 Electronic Games magazine review disagreed, calling it a keen disappointment. Really? A mediocre title from a superior game company. I completely disagree. Wow, that's crazy. This is a huge standout title for me of Activision. It is high action. It is difficult. I mean, it is difficult to start with, it's, I think. It's, it's not a slow ramp up. Well, it's difficult. It's fun, though, because it, it yeah. it's very uh, dynamic. Very. Di like, things are happening Constantly. all over the screen. Yeah. And 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 very differently. There's different types of bugs, and they have different movements. I mean, I did get it down to a pattern of way I moved, but towards the end, above, Gosh. like, 40,000, like, from 35 to... Well, maybe 37 to 45, or till I died. Um, those guys were, the spiders seemed to be moving like really crazy across the screen and just destroying me. Uh, an Atari HQ review long after the game's release said 2,600 players who are familiar with Activision's usual effort might feel a bit let down by Spider Fighter. Really? I mean,. Why? Why would I they say that? Is it because of the simple? Oh, now we're in. Now we're in banana. That's <laughs> crazy mode. Crazy. Oh, I, super fast <laughs> shooting. I love it. It just switches over to insanity in, in oh, banana man. level. It's. It doesn't have maybe the. I don't know. Other games are very similar. Like I, I think of Frostbite, and it doesn't have any more depth than this one. It's jumping on ice flows. <sighs> 
same ice flows. They move a little bit differently. Different uh, enemies. It gets super quick and fast. But it's the same screen over and over and over again. Ah, Whoa. I ran right into we it. dodged like five of them and then ran into one. Well, that's usually how this game works. <laughs> but really barely dodged. See, the spiders are kind of calm at first. I was just blaming the spiders for my death. This is not good. Oh, uh, 14,000. 14, not a terrible effort, but not getting enough bonuses. Yep. Yeah. Again? Yep. For, you right. gotta beat that. You gotta. I don't beat know, 14? Yeah. 14 wasn't terrible. It no, wasn't great. You made it to bananas, but I think you did better well, last I, time. I, oh, yeah. I can't remember what I got. I think you I did might really have gotten. Well, actually, I know. I think I got like turn. 19 or something like that. It was one of the first turns, and I think yeah. I got my best score in I one of the you first. I got above 20. Yeah. In, in one of the I think you got above early 20. turns, I did the best. And yeah. Then kind of, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Terrible. I'm distracted. I'm trying to talk to you. That's oh. part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. I suppose the laser bat blast is this weakest, weakest game ever. You, your guy at the top, there's three tanks at the bottom, and you shoot them with your laser. Repeat forever. Oh, really? <laughs> if they shoot you, you slowly drift down the screen, and you can land on one of them and kill one of them. It is the it is probably probably going to be one of the last games I go for for my patches. Yeah. It is terrible. Is it hard or is it just boring and repetitive? Um, I never really got good at it because I didn't really want to. <laughs> because it's really, really repetitive. I remember playing it back in the 80s. My friend had the, the game. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool, but you kind of center yourself, shoot the middle, shoot the left, shoot the right, go to the next one. But you have to kind of shift just a bit for the left one, a little bit for the right one. But you have to shoot them like really fast because they shoot you if you don't shoot them fast. It's just... It's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible game. Thomas Yentz even improved Laser Blast with more random gameplay. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a homebrew hack you can show. Yeah, that might be... That might be a good idea when I do the Laser Blast game and show hacks along with it. that bastard. It might be a good idea, actually, when we do the Activision Challenge games. Uh, do the hacks of them. But usually they don't hack Activision games. Because they're so good to begin with. Like what? You don't usually need to hack them? Right back up. Oh, come oh. on. Look over some Activision games. What else do we have? Now, actually, I'll look to my list because now I can go down the to the next game. I totally forgot. Doing worse this round, I think. Okay, so the next game that I'm gonna play as the patch to get the patch is Stampede. Okay. And um, I did read some information about Stampede, and, and I think I can get the patch really, really, really easy. And then after that, Keystone Capers. That'll be a very kind of fun. It's a very nice game. But I think it does get patterny after a while. Let's see what other Activision games we can line up. What other suggestions out there? I, uh, I suppose says I have Stampede Pro Tips. <laughs> as far as I remember, the basics are. Obviously, you have to rope the black calves, because they stand still, and those have to go after them. You push back the slow calves, and you rope the fast ones, the fast-moving ones, to turn them into slow-moving calves. Ten. Worse. No, I was not doing as well as I did the last time. No, oh, definitely not. <laughs> RC7E, how are you doing at home, playing along uh, at the home version of the game? The home version? <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Like game shows would say that. Oh, play along with the. Or oh. you get to take home Jesus. the home version of the game. <laughs> what game shows had home versions? I'm trying to think. What game show would say that? Like Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it was before video games. No, versions. I know, I know. Yeah. I, it, it was. Because there's was... definitely Wheel of Fortune. I played that on. I played that a lot on uh, the Commodore 64. Wheel of Fortune. 
It was pretty much like Hangman with a wheel yeah, that you spun. True. Because you weren't winning any money on the home version. Only when you're playing with multiple people and you're trying to beat them with money. Oh, RC7E said, first attempt, 1670. Ooh. 1670. Good, that's pretty good. No, it's not. Of course it's good. You got 2,000. 1670, I got 14,000. Not 16,000, 16, unless you made a typo. 1,670. 1,000. You get that in, like, one level. I think you mean 16,000. Arena says, Foot says, what homebrew? This ain't homebrew. <laughs> no, it's, what the hell are you looking it's, at? It's, it's zero page. Just plain old zero page. <laughs> no, no homebrew home, today. No homebrew. <laughs> if you look at my uh, graphic that I put up, I put a you change it a <laughs> line through the homebrew. It's it's really funny. Oh Jesus! <laughs> no, even worse. For some reason, I do better in the early. Welcome, Marina Foot. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I did. I earned my patch. You didn't see it, but I got 43, 45, somewhere 44, 45 somewhere around. Yeah, yeah. So I surpassed forty thousand. Oh. See? Those guys. And mostly not using bonuses either. I was struggling for a long time. So I earned those points through shooting, shooting all the, all the enemies. Oh, no, he did get 16. Second attempt, 3050. Oh, he doubled it. Getting better. It is a fast paced game. It is a very fast paced game. Are you playing it using Stella? And are you using keyboard or um, gamepad or joystick? What are you using to play the game? Oh, I should look up the, the best score. It's probably like 9999 or something. People always get outrageous scores on these old, old games. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Well, once you once once you've got the flow of it, I can see True. you getting very high scores. I yeah. mean, it, I don't think it like, changes much. I you no. you claim it gets faster, but I, I actually don't think it does. Yeah. I think it just stays at the same level inde indefinitely. So if you're good at playing at that level, it's like you at Aardvark. <laughs> well, and that was a demo. That was a repeat. Yeah, but, but but I did very well. Yeah. But but you were very comfortable with the level it was at. You could just go al almost forever. Yeah, I, I essentially. So, Spider Fighter on Expert. The lowest is 36, and the highest is 497. But Expert See? is easy. Even worse. I'm getting worse and worse with every game. Oh no! 880! 8800. Eight, oh, no, my hands getting sore. Oh, I need a table. Uh, well, you could. Um... It's always one. Put it on a pillow. Yeah. That doesn't really help. <laughs> do you want me to bring down your tray? No, no, because I, I can't cross my legs and do it at the same oh. time. <laughs> can you reset? But do you need a tray up here then? Or up Well, front? yeah, so I can cross my legs. I mean, that's okay. This is when I'm comfortable. Get, TV, get a TV ta oh tray, Tanya. God. Can you reset it again? <laughs> one, one <laughs> that was 50. terrible. That is terrible. Okay, spider fighter. Yeah, I do need a TV tray. That's exactly what I need. Novice. Holy oh, boy. The scores pretty much start at 100,000. Oh, I'm sure. And two people maxed out the game at 900,000. 900, wow. That must have taken a very long time. Very, very long time. Uh, oh, RC70 says, Estella with an Xbox controller. Oh, that would work for really. Oh, like a, um, a handheld Xbox controller? Not a, not one of these with like a joystick. <laughs> I have a light sixer, but I don't have the cart. I'm getting it ASAP mm. though. Yeah, it's definitely worth Even buying. Even better. What is, are you done? I think my hand's sore, but, but uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> are you toast? Maybe. Um, yeah, so crazy, crazy scores. Oh my god. I recognize some of these names. Let's see. Oh, yeah, some of these people are like 151 scores. See if anybody has increased the wall jump ninja's score. Oh yeah. 
Somebody beat me by two rooms. I know. You. I mean, it's really hard. At a certain point, it's like almost impossible. Yeah. No, no, it still stands. I have 67 and they have 69. So, it's not impossible. And I have a strategy in mind that I'm going to use. Bonus! That's how you do it. Much better. <laughs> Trey Guy says, someone in France sold a Dark Vader with two joysticks and Space Invaders this morning for 15 euros. Wow. What? That's a very good deal. I mean, Space Invaders isn't worth anything. But a... Um, dark... Dark... A, uh, a Vader. Vader. Yeah. yeah. 2600 Vader. Um, it's, uh, yeah, definitely worth 15 euros. So I still don't have a 2600. Oh, they're, you'll find one. They're very cheap. Very, very inexpensive for like just, you know, a random one in Atari Junior or a good friend. even a light sixer or Sir, two a deaths. four switch. Oh. Paying attention. No. I've gotten a bonus in almost every round actually up until oh, this point. No. Yeah, eight, eight thousand. Oh, oh. See, now I'm dying all the time, but I was doing pretty good. I to use my strategy of uh, wall of bullets. Oh, well, yeah. It was just being a bit more deliberate. Mm. Yeah, on these earlier levels, wall of bolts is not necessary. You just have to not follow them. Don't follow no, them. No, you have to stay ahead or behind. Yeah, well behind or just ahead. Just ahead and kind of bounce back and forth. You can kind of duck yeah. in if they're not moving much. Ah! Oh, so many bullets! I think you do get more points for shooting them before they hatch. I don't know. Sure? I, I don't think, think that's 50, true. 50, 50, 30 or is it better when they do hatch. Let's see. I like, I like it when you get, ah, oh, the super fast bullets. They have terrible names. Uh, stingers. Oh my god. Oh yeah, spy pods aren't worth, oh, spy pods are worth 50. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was, I did really well up until that point. I was getting a lot of bonuses. But... Yeah. Your hand's dead? No, I can play one more round. Okay. <laughs> so I think I want to show you that game. Um, I want to show you, uh, let's, let's see what we played last time. I want to show you Deepstone Catacomb. Okay. Super fun. You're going to break. That sounds cool. After, after this game. Yeah. Because, uh, mostly Erlen played it. <laughs> I didn't yeah. get to play very oh, much. Oh, I, 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 I was reading joined the stream as you were, as you were playing for yeah. a little bit there and... So I don't think I ever made it to a dragon. No, I didn't. Because the game glitched out on the level where you get the Master oh. Sword. And I just never made it. And then, and then Erlen took his turn. Because I had a lot of reading to do. So mostly I was just, <laughs> mostly I was just reading stuff. Oh, and you didn't get your bonus. No, because I, I died. It's a problem. It's a very forgiving game for lives. Well, it, 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 it'll, it keeps the play going because it's quite a frantic game. It is. You need these lives. Oh, no spider. Oh, no, it's the low ones. Bonus. The low ones that get you. Level three. It said there's only four fruit levels. So you get to banana level pretty quick. I think around 10,000? Around 10,000. Know, depending on bonuses. Oh. Oh. Dangerously. Not really. It's just when there's too much on the screen. It starts to get really dangerous. Yeah. I don't like it when he's low. Oh, no. Ah. No. Low is bad. Stay away ah. from him when he's low. That was a close call. Ah. Oh. See? It's almost like you run into him. Almost, yeah. And this is a very cleverly pro programmed game. Mm -hmm. Because you are on your own level all the time. You never touch um, the enemies. And there's only two enemies on a line at the same time. So, he, so the programmer was able to use no flicker, which Activision never allowed. 
and it looks like the screen is like really, really full. And they put your lives on one line, and on a separate line they put fruit and really, really colorful graphics as well. They could have even made your ship two colors on the same line if they wanted to, mm. possibly. So okay. you're done? I'm done. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what you got. Oh, look, RC7E beat you now. Yeah, yeah. 1400 15, and 15,000. That's really, really, really good. I think I did on better three. on my last, the last game we played. I think you I got, I think I got better. like 19 or something like that. Very close to 20 yeah. or over 20. Mm. Yeah. So. So I got my patch, everyone mm -hmm. who's tuned in now. Um, so that's awesome. So we're going to actually play Deep Stone Catacomb <laughs> and, bo and uh, make muses here. Okay, cool. Uh, who made the game. So you didn't get to play it. And mm -hmm. I want to play it again. So. <laughs> we're done with Spider Fighter. Okay. Are you tired? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to have to hold it down. Ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. What day? 19th. 19th? Yeah, two days ago. There's a problem with that joystick. Problem with the joystick. I need to get another joystick. This actually works well anyway. Uh, Mick Mew says, want the fixed version with the Master Sword fix. Sure. <laughs> Send it on yes, over. Please. That would be excellent. <laughs> Two player, same time Galaga. Can't wait. Should we play that too while we're waiting briefly sure. for the uh, fixed version? Sure. Just briefly. I'm all for that. Is it fixed? Uh, oh, no, it's not fixed. It's still all wonky, where you can control the other person? Yeah, so I only played very briefly. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. I don't know where it is. It's fun to just, like, oh, you have spontaneously to hold, it cold up. Can you hold it down. Oh, yeah, sure. It's B, right? Uh, is it that? Oh no, did I delete the directory? No. Oh, no. Yay. There we go. I think this is. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Let me just load up an appropriate thing. Okay. Here, I'll take this one. No! So, let's see. So you have to actually add the second player in. <laughs> by, um... Getting... By getting him. Well, yeah, by getting picked up in the ship, and yes. then I have to get rid of, get you uh, out without yes. killing you. Get rid of one. That's not the co-op setting? Oh. No, it's just the two-player, I think. Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you. There, there we go. go. <laughs> That's better. Now we get the co-op. Thank you, uh, Ice Pistol. Mm -hmm. All I saw was two players on the screen. I went, yep, that's it. Yep. That's the one. I had a we feeling. Did we stream this? Yeah. We did. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, we did no, we internal did. tests. I don't know if we did this one. We did stream it. Oh, I'm, the co-op? Didn't we? 
I remember playing it. Oh, we no, played no, it. No, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we just, we just tried it out. Yeah. It had some issues. Yeah, but we'll show it. Player two. Oh no. That's okay. It's one or the other, right? Now you can Now I rescue and you. And you're better at rescuing me than I am at you, because I almost always hit you, so... So Mick, Mick Muses, inbox the fix to my... To your Facebook? FB, yeah. Facebook? Oh, Facebook. Yeah, 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 okay. That's right. That's how we were communicating. <laughs> what? Oh, rescue me. <laughs> While I get download this. Player one? You're player one. What? Yeah, oh. you keep playing. Okay. There we go. See. Remember, no continual shooting or you no. control each other. Just press the buttons. Yeah. They're working. <laughs> and I die immediately. Ah, oh, as per usual. Uh, I think you did that last time too. Yeah, that's okay. So there's like barely any testing. <laughs> Done. No, well, when we were playing it, we played it. And we share lives, now there's no lives left. Do we? Yeah, look, there's no lives yeah, left. Well, you're the one who died twice. Don't make me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna die, so. Don't you blame me. Okay, <laughs> I'll try that. I played the demo of this in the arcade version a bunch over the last few days, mostly the first time playing the arcade, maybe three times in the past. The enjoyability level between the two is every way equal. I can't wait for this card yeah. to come out. Yeah, yeah it's. It's a lot of fun. We can't... I, I don't see any differentiation between the two. No, it's If there it's is, it's so, so minimal yeah. that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It still makes it a really fun game to play. Oops. Wrong side. these guys. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Careful. Rescue me! We will try! <laughs> I have a funny two-player story with this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now it's your turn and you have to rescue me. I yes. think this it's a very fun way to do two players. Oh no! That was so close. Watch your shots. There we go. Ooh! Ooh. That should have killed you. That should have killed, yeah. So I am on the right. I'm the red. I'm on the left. Do not die immediately, please. I will try my best. I'm just going to sit. You you shoot that guy then. There okay. you go. Now you block me and... and, push, and push, 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 push. Oh. Oh, and you. See? <laughs> now it's your turn to die immediately. <laughs> you were in the way. I blame you. No, you weren't in the way. I went first, died, player two went through all the ships, game over, then I got my player two? Oh. Oh, is that how it works? I thought you, you share ships. Oh, two player story, not, yeah. not co-op. Yeah. I know I'm not optimizing my points because you're supposed to really wait until they start falling. Uh, yes. <sighs> yeah, it sucks when you don't have two ships. wonder how this plays out in co-op mode. <laughs> I don't know if it's any... I don't think it's going to be good. No, because you won't get... You won't do so well in the points without the, the double shooting, so... You'll do a little better, but it might be more confusing. Oh, oh there you go. I'll miss That's one. okay. Oh, yeah, I download. Download. Use the chat. Save that. So should I get captured? Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, 
end it. It's that's, your turn. That's not the way to do it. <sighs> but but the next one should capture. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. The next one should try to capture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. So I've got the other game downloaded. Excellent. Yes, two player, you can get captured over and over and get through all, go through all the ships. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not controlling it very well. Do it, do it. No! Oh, sorry. My ship. You killed my ship. Yeah, do it. I'm on my left. Yep. Then we'll, then we'll play Deep Stone Cat. Sounds good. I agree. I think uh, if dual shared score, that would make more sense. Dual what? Dual. RC76. Dual so dual doesn't share score. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's co-op. It's co-op mode. I'm on the left. Oh, now you're in the whole screen. That's okay. Two seconds to die. I know. That's what happens. You you, you can't move as much, and then you, you smack into the other person, so... You, you, you feel confined. You feel a bit more confined, like you can't, you don't have it, as much That's room okay. to dodge. That's all right. Okay. Let's go to mm. Deep Stone Catacomb. Now I'm looking to buy a Wi Fi card Wi-Fi for my card. SD card. For your so SD I can, card? So I can keep it in the Atari. Okay. And remotely send over games. Does such a thing exist? Yes, it does. It does exist. Mm. Just talking with, mm. um, participating in a forum chat with Thomas Jens, uh, talking mm. about that. Mm. And uh, he referred me to the perfect one. And so I will get that eventually. But it is like a bunch of money. <laughs> it's like $60 for the ease of not moving a yeah. card over but i would be able to do this on the fly and not have to you know turn it off for a while yeah for what that's worth <laughs> <laughs> okay copy that over it's just a cool thing to do oh why isn't it showing up where's my card Ooh, don't like taking it out while it's on okay show up there we go. Atari 2600. I as Posta folder. was wondering if with Galaga, does Easy start co-op right away? Easy. I, th I, I don't know. I know it Easy Good starts question. with two ships right when away. you're playing normally. But I don't know That's if That's a good question. Does. You'd have to try that out. It should. Yeah. It should. That'd well, I, I mean, that would be a good, good option. So then you can just yeah. play right off the bat. Um... Yeah. Try that out. <laughs> Take two seconds. Okay, pull down. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, it worked. Okay. Did it? Ugh, nope. Sorry, I it's lifted okay. my finger. I thought it Ready? was good to go. Not till you see the screen. What is happening? Is this the wrong one? Maybe. Check out the easy one. Yeah. Oops. Oh, don't do that early, I guess. While the uh, Atari age is on, don't reset it. Mm. Okay. Oh. Challenge? There. Yeah, this. There you go. Yep. Yay. It does. There you go. So you can get um, your practice in. I'm on the left, Tanya's on the right, and you get an extra ship because of that, right? Oh, mm, true. Still you can just three destroy ships. the screen, destroy it. Can you get double ships? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. No? You already are double ships. Really? Yeah. You can't get a second ship? Like, no. I can't get another one and no, no, shoot no. with two? No, no, no. That would be really cool. <laughs> that would be. Oh, and dead. Okay, so yeah. that's okay. 
We've identified that. Deep Stone Catacomb. Oh, nobody saw us. Play that. Anyway, yes. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. no. Sorry, everyone. Do we have to That's do it okay. again? No, we don't. <laughs> they know what it looks like. Oh, what's going on? One second. Oh, why is it blank? Screen? No. Mm -hmm. mm. Strange. Restart. Okay. Yep. Gonna restart. Have you, have you turned it off and on? <laughs> I will. And that usually fixes these kind of weirdnesses. Mm -hmm. There we go. Excellent. Deep stone catacomb. Muse. What is Pretty. happening? Pretty. Something is, something is really weird with the capture device right now. Is it hot? Yeah, it might it be. It's the summer solstice. It is very, very warm. It's not that warm in here, though. No, it's not. But I mean, sometimes the these lights can make it out. super hot. It doesn't feel that bad in here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! It's flashing. Who's ha people are having uh, epileptic fix fits at the moment? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, things are going crazy. Crazy. Please hold. Yes. One moment, please, is now flashed up. Excellent. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you okay. figure that out. <laughs> yep. Things are going crazy, but you guys can still hear me, right? Yes. Yes, you can. I think it might be really, really hot in this room. Okay, we've got that going. That's good. Let's get the video camera going. That should be okay. There we go. Okay. It is very hot in here, though. I will say that. Okay, so it's this controller. Sorry about that interruption there. Visuals are a go. It's back. Hopefully no problems with this fix. Yeah, sometimes you fix things in a game and uh, breaks other things. Oh, Tanya hasn't seen this. I want to show her the whole thing. So I'll wait till she comes back. So this is made by Make Muse. A little bit of a little tune in there at the beginning. Oh, did you change the number? Yeah, the version number is so small. It's only, what, four pixels tall. So a three is like a little, I don't know, a D with a little hat. <laughs> it's really, really nice that, um, that you do versioning numbers as well. So you know exactly what um, version that you have, despite, so, so if the, uh, the ROM file has changed its name. No, keep the door open. Open, oh, open, no, open, no, open. Uh, oh, it's hot. No, no, I'm just going to keep it open. Okay. <laughs> Is it fixed? Yes, 100%. Yay. Okay, so I'll let you play. Okay. Because you haven't played at all. I haven't played, nope. So look at the little fire yeah. burning. Yeah, and the one flashing repeatedly. Yep. Yeah, we'll play level one. So press, press the button. And he walks over. And goes down into the catacombs. So there's your sword. So practice fighting with your sword here. You can go up, down, left, right. And if you hold down the button, you run. And you walk if you don't. There you go. Yay! And repeat. <laughs> oh no, don't get close to them. Uh, you get you have, hurt. You have a life? Yeah, life is on the right. Okay. Lives are on the... Or health is on the right, lives are on the left. Okay. And when you clear a room, it's actually cleared. It never comes back? Never comes back, which is very unusual for an Atari game. But he, um, he obviously allocated some RAM for that. Oh, he walked right into it. 
<laughs> like rocked right over it. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Just trying to figure out how close to get. I think the best thing about the game is the coins. The spinning coins are gorgeous. The colors that he chose are so nice. And that is health. <gasps> Yay! Oh. oh, got locked into a room. Yeah, sometimes rooms, until you clear them, it locks you in. So far, no bugs. <laughs> Let them walk into you. Or oh, what I do is the, I angle. stab and move. I go stab, 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 and walk towards them with my sword going like stab, stab, stab. Nice. I find that's a good um, strategy. Tactic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the angle at which you hit them. <laughs> walking into them. Um, I find the scorpions, you try and get them from below because they're, if you hit them straight on, they've got a little space and you your sword goes right through them. Mm. Then that's next level. Yep. Ladder goes to level two. You see on the bottom for yeah. a brief moment of time. Gotcha. That's your little marker. Actually, I never noticed before that it's a little cross. Because it's where you go back when you die, too. Oh, why is it? <laughs> Walking right into them. I'm not trying to. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. You can't kill that thing. Oh, really? You it's have to relentless. kill everything. Yeah, you have to kill everything else. Gotcha. Didn't mean to not kill that other guy. You don't have to clear all the rooms. He came back, though. But that one was a good one to clear. Because well, because I got needed the, health. <laughs> got the food. Gotcha. Oh, he's cute. RC7E says, Mick Muse, your journal is really inspiring and useful. Thanks for posting it. So what he did with this game mm -hmm. is that every day he did programming, he talked about what he did during that day of programming. Oh, cool. So it's a journaling of making this game. And I don't... Um, there's very few uh, people that have done that. I know uh, Daryl Spice Jr. is very good with journaling when he um, makes his games. Mm. But other than that, I don't know too many people. I mean, in the Atari 2600 scene. Mm -hmm. that do that and it's very oh yeah didn't resets. Mean to do that. oh actually it got worse it did <laughs> is that things there now oh. oh mushrooms and extra life so now four lives are maximum so you're pretty, pretty much cleared. maximum health and maximum lives you're down a little bit in the health so how many um on the tenth level there's the dragon on the fifth level is the sword, so you definitely want to keep searching until you find a sword. Ah, ah. No, you're bad. And that thing moves as fast as the uh, scorpion, so... Oh, just in time. Did you up the number of health uh, he things? Because that's me. quite... <laughs> it's getting a lot more than before. <laughs> so I find it best to yeah. draw that get that thing and then run away from it to the other side of the screen. There we go. Aren't those gorgeous coins? They're beautiful. Yeah. They are beautiful. <laughs> I said they look like else. the coins in um, Mario Brothers. Yeah, they do kind of. You know, the original Mario Brothers um, with the pipes and the things yes, coming out of yes, the pipes? Yes, yes, yes. They look just like the coins yeah, in that. Yeah, they do look like that. Arena Foot says, Jawas! Yes, those there. do look like jealous. Those little hooded, hooded guys. Oh, Oof. He got me. He got me. I'm looking forward to Spice Wars C language if that's being developed. Yes, so am I. That is um, another programming framework that would be very, very, very cool. Yeah, you put more health in this. <laughs> you definitely increase the health. Uh, that's is um, that the randomness. Point? That's yeah. the starting point. Mickey mm -hmm. says, I don't think so. I don't know what he's saying. I don't think so, too. But maybe to that comment of increasing the health. I'm just getting... Spicy. Yes, that's what it's called. Spicy. Uh, Mickey Muse, haha, kind of want to call that them that in the manual. Might be an IP issue. <laughs> you could call them something... Um, sand people. No, that's the other guys. Those are the guys with the... Uh, the, with the oh, those sand people. Yeah, yeah, those are the sand people. Jawas aren't sand what could you call the Jawas? Nothing. Just Jawas. Jawas. <laughs> but except, you'd have to change it a bit. 
I think that takes a oh lot of God. hits. It's a big scorpion. Ah! Ah! He's like... Oof, he's on you. Oh, he got me. I think I'm going to die. Doubt if Disney would come after you? Ooh, I don't know about that. Disney's pretty... Is there more? Pretty vicious. I think that was it. The only person worse than Disney about IP is Nintendo, I think. Just the one scorpion. Is that it? Is in it all level. the rooms? Yeah, in this level. Oh, so. hopefully this is in level five. There's no, there's no. Hidden now you're in level five. There's no hidden walls or anything, is there? Um. I need, I need some. Is there hidden walls, Mick? I don't remember. I've been looking. I don't even know how you find hidden walls. We never found them. Do you have to like attack the sides of the walls? Ah! And they throw things now. Ah! Level five and onward. I need food. No hidden walls. Okay. I need food. Look at oh, my yeah. health. One more hit and you're ah! done. Ah! <laughs> you can always back out. In most rooms. There you go. That's a much better room. Ugh. You do still have all your lives. Oh, where's my elf? <laughs> oh, I do have lives. I guess I... In the games we played, we almost never got health. Oh, now you die. That's okay. You threw a thing. You almost never got health? Oh. Maybe it's just the early levels, because... Mm, maybe, yes. That could be it. Not like. Yeah, it gets hard on level five onward. That's for sure. <clears throat> and this is Zelda and Mario inspired. D Nintendo and Disney coming after you as a showstopper. <laughs> yeah. But this is only inspired. Do not go down down that. You need the sword first. Why isn't it not turning upwards? Turn upwards! So you're going sideways. I know. Ooh! The sword! Okay, I'll tell you about the sword. Okay. Once you get the sword, you get full health. Now try it out. Ooh. So you can throw it. But if you get hit once, it's it's uh, you can't do that anymore. You have to get you have to have full health to use the projectile. Oh, the throw. And yeah. it's an automatic throw then. Yeah. Oh. If you get hit once, then it's a, nice. then you go back to the normal sword. It's still more powerful, but it's it doesn't isn't a projectile, so be on the on the defensive. Ah. Be on the ah. defensive. Ah. ah! And you lost it. <laughs> how much? How much? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Terrible. So, um, for people that uh, weren't here last episode, um, we're kind of we reworked <laughs> reworked the schedule a bit. So Wednesdays are new game day, and Fridays are ah! and you lost it. I didn't know I had it because you died. So well, I thought I was pointing. The, I thought I was pointing the direction to hit him. So. Oh yeah. It's, it's, I find Because when you die, you get awkward. full health again. And that means your sword is back again. And Fridays are uh, challenge days, high score days, and revisiting game days. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Now, look, you have your, your yes. projectile back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So careful, careful. Stay big distance between you and that guy. Back off. Run, 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 run. Oh, you can c control it. What? Oh, no, it just goes at uh, eight ways. It has an eight-way directional. Oh. So you can do little tricky things. Because they can only shoot four ways. Oh. And you lost it. Didn't mean to back out the door. Um, would you share it for a future volume in my book for a PM? Uh, Rena Foot. Sure. Awesome. I missed the Galaga demo ROM by weeks. There is no demo for this, right? No, no demo yet. He, um, Mick wants to work on it a bit more. Um, Ooh, thank that. goodness. Because you're on your last life. Oh, I know. Mick wants to work on this a bit more before he releases um, a demo of it. Oh, dead immediately. <laughs> but you have your, your sword back. Oh, Careful. Oh, my goodness. Stop backing out. Yeah, you can shoot their shots. Let him come to you. Oh, no other mushroom. You definitely need that. No demo for this yet. No, no. 
Yeah, this is going to blow people's minds. This is such a fun game and such a well-made cool. game. Yeah. Like, controls are so good. Uh, the variety of enemies. Ah! And you lost it. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that every time <laughs> that happens. <laughs> you got to run. Run away from them. <laughs> Stop backing out! Yeah, of course, I don't have the full anymore. Just located Laser Blast. Random. Can't find it on Atari H anymore. I'll PM you. Oh, R Laser Blast Random. Oh, the, um, the uh, hacked version of Laser Blast. Yeah, that'll be... Uh, well, that'll be good for a very, very, very future episode because I will definitely not be playing Laser Blast anytime soon. <laughs> It's a terrible game. It's so terrible. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, patch earning score is very low. Oh, on your last life. Mm, yeah. What level are you on? Seven, Probably eight? not very, very, very high. Six, seven. Six. And oh. game over. That's fun though. What I did do you make it to? Your level pole. seven. Your pole is close, yeah. <laughs> My pole is close. How, did, how far did you... Oh, you and no, Erlen must have even, gone pretty far. We didn't even do the... Did I put the pole on the screen? Nobody saw it. The pole? Here we go. Well, you've got to finalize it, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that advanced VCS games like Galaga using the ARM processor has a negative or positive impact in the homebrew development community? Mm. Uh, developer said, two, Galaga is inspiring and makes me want to make more games, 30%. Uh, number four, without the ARM presser... ARM processor games have worse graphics and sound. More people should use them. So some people really, really want a yeah. lot more ARM games. Yeah. And five, uh, I just like playing games. I don't care about the technology behind them. Mm. So I would be picking um, two and five. I'd be five. I should have entered mine in. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exact three-way tie. 30, yeah. 30, 30. Doesn't that happen a lot? It does. Yeah. <laughs> three-way ties <laughs> happen a lot. A lot. <laughs> Okay, so okay. my turn. So it keeps track of the highest score and your last score. And Mick, you should definitely, if you have room, program in the um, Atari Vox and um, the high score. Oh, now the name escapes me. Atari Key? Key? Something Key? That keeps the high scores on the Atari Vox. Because um, then you could keep track of the highest score and level for um, for each of the different like level one, two, and three. Yeah. And it would keep it forever. So I let them walk into me usually. Yeah, I I just I uh, he moves pretty quickly and I'm. In the higher levels, yeah. No, but he does. Like he he oh, he's. This I guy? find him. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you hold down the button, he does. No, no, not even holding on the button. I find he, he has sort of a quick movement. So. Ah, well, it is I, uh... helpful when you're trying to oh, evade, it is. It evade is. the bad guys. I also never really played Zelda. So. Oh, I've <laughs> never played Zelda either. I really should, though. I know. I, I, I've got I, a million games to Of play all there. the franchises that, that I got is... into, but Zelda wasn't one that I did, and, and it's, I mean, it's massive, but... And it'd probably be one that you would like. Actually. Yeah, I, for sure, for sure. It's it's like this, but like a million times more depth, obviously. Yeah. I did play like... Star Tropics, which well, then you would reminds you would, me a bit of this, but you would definitely like Zelda yeah. if you like Star Tropics. I do like Star Tropics. RC seventy. What? <laughs> what is what? <laughs> a what out of nowhere? Is that a what for the thumbs up? Oh, that we that I've never played. Neither of us have played Zelda. That's it's one. crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, and I don't know how how that ever happened. Yeah, I just through my years of NES playing and well, I didn't have an NES. You did have, but an I NES. did. I mean, I didn't. So that's play why a I skipped ton that ton of games, but I did play it a fair amount. Ah, my first hit. <laughs> Come here. See, I haven't gotten I any to... food. Because I haven't gotten any hit. No, uh, yeah. none of that. <laughs> um, How to game this? In system. my NES days, we didn't really own that many games, but we right. rented them a fair amount. We had a we had a 
um, video store that rented NES games. So we would tend to either rent and occasionally we'd buy them secondhand. So Zelda would probably be one you'd want to buy because it's a yeah. longer game, right? But that's how I got Battletoads. And Star, <laughs> Star Tropics, I think, was new, but Battletoads, I got like a secondhand version of it. So. Yeah, no Zelda. Yeah, I know, I it's know. crazy. It's so Hi. weird. Ah! Now I need some food. No. No. Better. For a second. For a second. I didn't realize you could. it was that easy to dodge those things. Um, ah. For a second when you said, no, I need food, I'm like, you're hungry? No, no, no. I'm like, pizza. oh, wait, no. I know. <laughs> Just for a second. Oh, they speed up. Oh, look at them. Like, yeah, they're, they've got up a kind bit. of random movement. <gasps> Yay! Oh, yeah, no, well, lives. Well, extra life. Yeah. Ah! Do need health. Come on. Come on. Yay! I yeah. bet it's based that on game... whether you need it or not. Well, no, I don't think so. I Mick, mean, the first on... round, the first round that I was ah. playing, there was tons ah. of health. Ah. Yeah, like, but you were you were getting hit a lot though too. Well, I was. I mean, if you have if you have full health, maybe you don't get it, but. Is that cheating? Oh, that is cheating. The game lets you do it. Well, uh, yeah. Ah. It's, it's it's part of the, the strategy. Ah. Give me health. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's it's strategic. And this is really smart. Mm. See, it, it you start going down the ladder, but you can cancel it. Mm. Ah. Very low on health. One more hit. Oh. So so what level did you and Erlen get to or did Erlen get to Erlen got to level 13. Okay. That's pretty um, good. so he defeated the first dragon. Oh, did he? Yep. So he did really well. I didn't even get to a dragon if I But remember. you kind of let him play most of it, I guess. Yeah, I was doing yeah, a lot of this reading. This is your turn to <laughs> yeah, This is my turn. <laughs> to actually play it. Yeah. yeah. Thank goodness. Fifteen percent chance drop for chicken, ten percent for mushroom. So just straight fifteen and ten, no matter what your health at all. I thought Link's name was Zelda, so I named my character Zelda. Turns out that was a cheat code to get to the second world. Yeah. Oh, funny! That is funny. Ah, ah! You can't get out of this room. Ow! Ow! Yeah, no, that's it. This that's, is it. That's hey? it. It's he's like a boss. He's like a, oh, a mini boss. Oh, a mid boss I think. on level yeah, four. A mid level boss. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one game I played that was actually on level five, instead of the sword. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It was just three rooms, so I didn't get the sword one playthrough. That's why it's the fixed version. Maybe you oh, missed it. It didn't register me. Uh, it didn't go through. I killed him. Yeah. And then you, exited the room. Oh, that's what I mean. If you exit the room. Before it turned to a coin. Yeah. Is that a bug? You I don't think? think it's a bug. I think you I have to let though. it. No, but you have to let it do its yeah, thing. Yeah, that's true. I think you didn't. You didn't. You pulled, pulled out of the room too fast. Yeah. I did. That's a very hard thing to do, though. Oh. Ow. Yes. I mean, I need health, but that's nice, too. Mm. Mm. Ugh. Well, got the got the health just in time. Oh, it's the one with the lever. Hmm. And that opens oh, there's the sword, yay. Dominate. <laughs> it does have a range, though. Mm. It doesn't shoot all the way across the it screen. It doesn't doesn't shoot the entire screen, yeah. But it is way more powerful than the regular yeah. sword. Um, yeah. You sw well, there was a room above the lever, or yeah. did you come down that way? Uh, I came down that way, but mm. you don't need to complete the, the... You don't need to complete the world. Or the level. All you need to do is get to the end. Ah. 
you have you, you lose your kills, unfortunately. You do. And there's a timeout for oh, the rewards. I know. <laughs> it's actually a shorter time, I think, um, than on the lower levels. You have more time oh, to get your rewards yes. on the lower levels. It seems, at least. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. Aww. Yeah. Poor guy. He's almost dead. One more hit. Oh, one more hit, and but, then you got hit. <laughs> but I got my thing back, so. Got my sword back. Yay! RC70 uh, said it took a month to figure it out. Nintendo Power revealed the secret in the next issue, the Zelda, using mm. Zelda as a name. <laughs> Even though I don't go for score. I don't really care about score in these types of games when there's mm. um, just levels to go through. Like you don't get anything for the score other than a mm. high score. Mm. Oh, no! no! You lost them. But it was only a coin and health, and I have full health, yeah. so it's okay. But yeah, that's disheartening. You like using that cheat. What cheat? Ah. Uh, oh, going out of the room. Yeah. So. Unless you can't. <laughs> health! Yay. Doesn't matter. Mmm! Oh, it's, oh, it's ran random. That's random, too. Interesting. Whether you can go in and out of the room. Yeah, whether it locks behind you. That is interesting. I played a game on the Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. I think it was called The Mummy. But it was like... You went into a you went into a room, and I think the screens all had the same maze, yeah. and you had to kill four monsters, yeah. and then get the keys out of the middle. And I think it opened. You had to get keys to open the center screen. Um, oh, if I'm not mistaken, you had to find keys and then use keys to open the center screen and get potions and different things that would freeze freeze the bad guys. I know this game. Do you know this game? Uh, um, it's called Realm of Impossibility. No, it was called something else on the Commodore. Or at least I had some kind of weird yeah. version of it. Was really? it Realm of Impossibility? Um, and it was in a, it. There were pyramids. There were mummies, snakes. Um, no, that's and there's keys and there's scrolls. No, uh, no. When you were were potions? you really tiny? No. Oh, okay. No. Um, besides that, the description is exactly... It was called, like, The Mummy. I, oh. I, I mean, it might have been... I'm pretty sure my dad got it off of BBS, or his friend got it off of BBS and put it on a disc, and I, I don't know where it came from. Um, but this sort of reminds me of that, with, like, blocky mazes, and then uh, each level would have harder um, opponents. Oh, you've got the, the, the dragon. Oh no! Damn it. Oh no! Yay! Yay. Woo! Maze of the Mummy. Maze of the Mummy sounds about right. Yeah, Mc, that sounds about right. Muse, I have a C64 as well. Going to start developing on that too. Ah, nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I haven't picked. I haven't played a game on a C64 in a long time. Although you did get me found found an emulator. Yes. Um, yeah. But, and, and we have a C64 Mini, which we can yeah. load things on. And I have an actual C64 as well. I just mentioned it because this sort of reminds me oh, of no, it. Blocky rooms. Bonus. bonus room. Nice. Bonus level. Get them fast. Get them. Woo! Is it, oh, it's the treasure room. I don't think you have to do it fast, though. No? No. You just get everything? You get everything. Treasure room. Oh, oh no! You lost it! Oh, but you can only go in the room once, so... Fair enough. Yay, now I have full health yeah. and full lives. Treasure room when you uh, kill the dragon. Yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I remember playing that game an awful lot. Yeah, I've and, never seen that game. Uh, look it up. It's, it's a fairly simple game. It's it's not that 
well, I mean, it was hard, but it wasn't that hard. And and I remember one of it being oh. as a young child one of the few games I oh. I managed to actually beat. Yeah. But anyway, it, it this vaguely reminds me of that, but it's not as mazy. And you would get you would get potions, and they would make you invis invisible. Yes, RC seventy. He did make just beat invisible? a dragon. Yep. Uh, yeah, potions so that would freeze things, or you'd be invisible, so they wouldn't chase after you. Oh. And uh, and I I just I don't know I really liked it, it was a fun game. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Lost it. So yeah, I'm having a bit of a flashback. <laughs> playing playing um, Maze of the Mummy or whatever it was, yeah. with uh, that huge red joystick that <laughs> everyone played. Um, with the ball on. on the top. Oh. Huge red joystick. Yeah, with a white button on the top and yep. red button on the side. Um, yep. Yeah, I and think it, it had did. a metal pole, round red ball. I don't think it. I can't uh, remember. I can't remember. But it had a uh, button on the base of it. Yes, red button on and the base, a, white button on the top. A black base. Very phallic joystick. Yes. A switch for the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still have that joystick. Oh, I know you have. I know you have every joystick. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not fighting that thing. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, you have no choice. You have no choice. You have no... Oh. oh! Oh! I was giving up that time. I was like, wow. I didn't think that was going to work out in your favor. <laughs> nope. Um, did I. Yeah, I kind of want to play that game now. Well, you can. I even uh, the emulation. theme music is running through my head, which is the funniest thing. <sighs> what? No food? I need food. Oh, I couldn't get that last coin. Okay, should I just leave? I'm just gonna leave. You don't have to do everything on the level. No, you don't. Unless you miss something. No point. You're at level oh, eleven. God. Fire! Do you you just have to dodge it? Yeah. Oh, you can kill it. Yeah, you can kill. it. With your sword? It's That's a amazing. magic sword. <laughs> ah. Oh, death. But I have my you have a lot of life, special though. powers back, so my special sword. I had full lives, yeah. Because of the dent um because <laughs> of the treasure room. Yay. Yay, health. Just when I almost needed it, but I don't anymore. No. No. So, Mick, do you think that's gaming the game when I do that? <laughs> Is that a bad thing to do? <laughs> or anybody else? Well, here's the thing. I don't think it is, because if you go in the room and you get the whatever random roll where the doors lock, then you, you can't take screwed. advantage of it. So yeah. Never played Maze of the Money, but, but I'm intrigued. Maze of the Money. But, you, but you're the one who named it. <laughs> I guess he knows it. He, but well, never he, played he it. has Google, so he might have looked it. Did you up. beat the dragon so fast I missed it? Yep. Yeah. It was pretty quick. But nothing is cheating ah. if my game allows for it. Yes, yes I agree. I agree. I that's think how so it works. Too. That's you're how... typing in codes or hacking it, hacking the the code in the background. Yeah, I'm full again. Yeah. Then I think it's allowed. Like you can do it. If if Mick didn't want you to do nice. it, it would be gone. Nice skull room. Like yeah, it. That's awesome. Units! Yay. Yay! Oh, oh, there we go. That usually opens a door. <sighs> that guy was really close. Okay, I, I wish I had my phone nearby. I just Maze of the Money Mummy sounds right, but I'm I I need to what level am I on? <sighs> Twelve. Uh -huh, I'm gonna beat Erlen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing in this room. Oh, this is a mid boss yep mid boss escape here Ooh, nano man oh. oh i lost it i knew i would it's just too much stuff going on nice no i did get hurt but you ah. careful oh that was close you should be getting uh you be getting some food Food. Need my ten percent chance getting food. Oh, I'm gonna. I died. 
But now I've got the good weapon back. Ah, no. Oh, oh my hand slipped. He's got little pitter patter of feet. That's him. Oh, cute! It's like our, you can our turn cats. that off with it's like the our... difficulty. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because he he thought some people would hate that noise. So. No, not Maze of the Mummy. It was a m very simplistic game. Oh. It might have been Mummy's Tomb. It was very simplistic. Um. Yep, Mummy's Tomb. Mummy's Tomb. Let's see. Mummy's Tomb. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. And you pick cool. up keys, and the keys Open. get you into the middle section of each room. Yeah. Um, through you, it's it's like a nine nine room grid. Yeah. And the key matches the color of the middle portion. Oh, do you have and to get the And I think right if key? you get, if you kill everything in every room, no, because I think they respawn. I think they respawn. Oh, I can't so remember in each room. Yeah. Kills them. It was a very simplistic game, but. Mummies too. Reset. Oh, damn it. Come on back. Come on. There you go. Good thing about dying is you get your awesome sword back. 1983 symbol software. Symbol. Ah! Damn it! One player game. That's right. And then there was there was a ladder down, but you had to unlock the ladder down by getting the right key. Can you get the wrong in key? In the middle. Well, no, there's there's different yeah, color yeah, yeah, yeah. keys. Extra life. And each colored key opens a door in a different room. And yeah, there's a sword that you can use to kill the the bad guys. Anyway. Your accomplishment with this game and his with Planet X3 are easily the most ex uh, inspiring examples yeah. of indie game developers you see here. Yeah, yes. Planet X3 is very impressive looking for um, the C... Was it made? No, it wasn't for, made for the C64. Planet X2 was. Mm. Remember those long videos that I made you watch of 8-Bit uh, Guy? And he made the Planet X3 game? You weren't even Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, uh, partially paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, he made it for <laughs> PC games. PC. Yes, for a PC, yeah. Anyway, that's a trip down memory lane. But it does remind me of running around into rooms. I need food. Yeah, you do. What level are you at now? Mm, oh, we'll see, 14? 14. 14! So you have a bead, Erwin. Ah, yes. Any lives? Uh, well, you and know I what? I lost my weapon immediately because I was foolish there. The twelve hour, the twelve hour um, game marathon will be a good time for Erlen to try and beat your whatever score, whatever whatever level you get on on this. Yes. Game. Throw the switch. Throw the switch. Yes, that's right. Ugh. I'm looking forward to playing more wall wall jump ninja. Actually. <laughs> yeah. That's high up there, and I'll play some amoeba jump too. I think it's gonna be over soon. Yeah? Yep. Oh no. What, so what does the switch do? Damn it. It uh, opens the door. There we go. That's what it is. Not much, but a little bit better. Oh. It, um, there's a, if you get to the ladder, there'll be a locked symbol on it, mm. and you have to throw the switch. Maybe it does different things on higher levels, but. Oh my god. Almost dead. Just oh, in life. Time. Good job. Oh, and, and you, yeah, and used it. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, but they, 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 they respawn. No, don't even bother. There you go. Now don't move. Don't leave the room. Try not to, but...
Ah. Damn it. It's hard when there are three in the room and they're all shooting. Very hard in, in your home. Oh, thank goodness. This... Ooh, that gave you a lot of life, too. All it goes health, full. Health, I mean, health. goes full. Yeah. Ah. Even though that thing was there, it was easier because they were mm. up a bit. And they're all in, all in line, too. So still my last life. Mm. I found the ladder. I really should employ the strategy of using angles, but it's hard to hard to get angles, hard to shoot on an angle. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I think it's level 15. It's a mid boss, or not? Nope. Just a fire. fire. Yay. Yay! Good job. Just in time. Yeah. Hold the dice correctly. It just gives you the mushroom or the food just in time every time. <laughs> Even though it's supposed to be completely random. Second dragon on level 16, not 10. Oh, so it's coming up like next. Mm -hmm. Or now. Is this level 16? No, I think you're. I don't think you're at the no, this second is 15. dragon yet. Yeah. This is 15. So very soon. I'll probably die because. Don't have full health. Those fires aren't hard, but they are getting the way. Well, you have to be careful to be out of their line, but as long as it's not too bad. No. But can the bad guys cross the fire? I guess no bad guys can cross any other bad guy vertically. Really? So he, he avoids oh, flicker that way. Oh, smart. Very, very smart. Even though it doesn't seem like... No, it, it doesn't seem like there's any restriction there no. at all. It's, it's really, really well good. done. Go away. So obviously that little... Line? Wooden line that, that <laughs> tracks you. Yes. Projectile, whatever it is, 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 is randomly um, generated. Yeah, it's like a yes or no thing. Yeah. It doesn't take the place of an enemy. It's an addition to an enemy. Seems to be about like 75% on these levels of happening or more. Mm. Need food. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this is level. Food. Oh, 16. here it is. Okay. Oh. Uh, maybe I should do that. I don't know, though. I think the dragon is so hard. It might be a good benefit to have full health. Yeah. I think Zelda made you start with less than full health to counteract that advantage. I think it's... I don't know. The dragon's really hard. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good idea to start with full health so you get your sword back each time, like your good sword. Yeah, at least initially. Yeah. Ooh, da, da, da. I'm going to die. Yeah. I just have to attack and well... put as many hits in as I can right away. Yeah, there you go. Now you oh, have... no, it doesn't matter because I reset the dragon resets. So yeah, no, so you don't have to hit him. It was he... pointless. It's just better to die. just die and get full health and then do your best. <sighs> oh, oh, health. Just in time. Oh, my God. Second dragon. There's three dragons. And <laughs> three. And then you rescue the princess. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. I don't think I'll make it to the third dragon. Well, you never know. You never know. Based on how... Oh, treasure. Treasure. Oh, good. Health I... and treasure. Hopefully I get all the lives back. It's okay. You don't need the coins. You need the health. There yep. you go. Go for health first. Wow. Health and... Go down. What are you... Oh. Why are you going up? Oh, missed that. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Two more. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Yay. One more. Yeah. Was more rooms. There were, there were more rooms. Mm -hmm. tap, 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 tap. Yay! So I'm back to absolutely full now. Excellent. Is that by design or is it random, Mick, in the treasure room? And when's the next dragon? <laughs> <laughs> is it every eight le eight levels? Well, it was ten on the first one. Oh, random me. Get the foods. 
Ah. Oh, they move so fast! Damn it! They move so fast! Yay! What about that food? Oh, they're so fast now. Oh, they're so fast. Random, but seems to always work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, levers right away. Sweet. Oh, that's good now. Ah, oh my god. Oh, no, no. I'm just going to avoid them. I'm going for the ladder. Oh. Aww. Be patient with the dragon. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to die. Oh, I've got all my stuff. Ah, oh, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Yay. Yay. Coins. Get them, get them. Oh. Sometimes they don't go in your direction. Oof, oof, oof. oof. Good job. Yeah, I'm at full health, but yeah. I'm missing down one life. Down one life? I do full, like full the pitter patter sound. I, I didn't ah. I didn't ah. notice that. No, it's very very quiet, very yeah, subtle. I like it. I like that. It's a nice touch. Uh, Is there anything to no, the right? No, I'm just gonna go for it because I have full full health right now. I have the sword. I don't want to lose that. Oh, oh you gotcha! Those scorpions. They move so fast now. Oh, and they're so deadly now. things that shoot at you and you don't have and you don't have the projectile yeah no, completely it's... unfair that's my fault for losing it oh uh, <gasps> got Ooh, it back. good job okay but it's so hard to feel so confined there's like three enemies every level now uh. oh, I it is kept that fire keeps them separate yes it does strategy <gasps> oh! And it's resets. Oh! oh. Ooh, dangerous. Very. Knocks it back though when you hit it. Oh! Mm. Mm. Oh, oh! Good. Back to full good again. Good timing. Good timing. Very good timing. He didn't say what level the third dragon's on. Oh! Nope. Come on! That's for you to. Uh, discover that was so cheap <laughs> fire got me immediately nice extra okay life, okay lives. i'll take an extra life oh, God. Oh, it's too late to back out no oh ah. Ah. ah see they all come back what oh. are you doing chaos it was chaos everywhere I'm panicking like i do <laughs> yes. don't do that <laughs> Just gonna keep going. Yeah, there's no. I could get an extra life randomly. You're level, level twenty. Good job. Good job. Twenty. Good night, y'all. Time for bed. I have to get up at four a.m. to work at six a.m. Oh, oh boy. that's an early day. I think he's two hours <laughs> ahead of us, so it's yeah. ten sixteen there. Yeah, definitely time to go to bed. Oh, four a.m. And uh, yep, I will be. We'll be done after I die. <laughs> Mid boss. Yep. Oh, I lost it. Just in time. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, he's dead there. His projectiles are really wide. Oh my god. Oh, they are chunky. Extra lives are good. Yeah. Oh, switch. Oh, 
so hard. What? Oh my god, what happened? You went into another room. Just I thought I died, but no. I accidentally went into the yeah, next room. Yeah, I've done that more than once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got projectiles back. Come on, guy. Come down here. Don't throw anything. can hit his projectiles there. at least. You can't, it's hard though. You have to be in line with them. Right in line with them. It's not worth trying. It's one hit and you've lost your weapon. Mm -hmm. Can I just come down? Luckily they have no knowledge of my weapon. They just walk right into it. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> no, no, babies. Oh, it should have stayed there. Got health? health back, yeah. Oh, I walked right over it. Lucky. Very lucky. Hate it. Nathan Strum just joined. Oh my goodness. Says, hey, those don't look like spiders. <laughs> no, I, I defeated And then RC70 says uh, he beat his first the first try, so yep. we moved on to other games. So first. back back to uh, games we you played earlier in the week. So Yep. Yeah. Because I wanted more, more of this game. Yes. No, I got my spider fighter patch. Got forty four or forty five thousand. Yeah, excellent. Very, very happy. I've defeated two dragons now on this, <laughs> and I'm very close to the third dragon Yay. now. Level twenty three. I made it halfway. I like scorpions. They don't throw things. At least these ones don't. Are there any scorpions that do? A different color. Got three lives and most of my health. So I'm not doing terribly. Just to need at least two lives when I go to fight the dragon. Mm -hmm. Preferably full health. Shoot? No. No, no. Don't You're so hard. fast. You're so fast. Ah. ah! I need food. One more hit. Oh no, I need to find the switch. Oh, hello, switch. <laughs> <laughs> 23. Woo! Is this it? Congrats. Can't stay away from those homebrews. No. <laughs> I cannot. It is an addiction. Is this it? No. Not. It must be the next level. You're very low in health. Oh, yeah. you need some randomly randomly generated health. <laughs> oh, or that. Or that. <sighs> oh no. Now I need randomly health. generated health. Mm. Those scorpions, man. Yeah, they... Oh, no! Oh, that guy's stuck. <laughs> because the fire's so high on the screen. He can't go down at all. No. He's like, I want to go down, but I can't go down. It's a shame the fire doesn't actually uh, destroy them. That would be very funny. That yeah, would be. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. 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 Yes. Ugh. No. <laughs> hard because they move so quickly now and this room is terrible okay okay last life though Ooh. no no oh, babies i don't want to get hit though i have my weapon too late <sighs> and flip and so hack <laughs> To whether I get food or not. Whoa. 
I just want to get to the next level. Oh no, I have to fight these guys. Yeah, they're like, you keep running through the rooms, we're gonna lock the doors on you. <laughs> right. I wonder if if if, like if, uh, room. if if it's like, no, you're not killing everything in the room, so we're gonna lock you into them more often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're exiting way too yeah. often. Oh, where's the food? I don't care. <gasps> okay, I'm at the dragon. You wanna see I'm the dragon? Just, but I'm gonna die, because this is my last life. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <sighs> Here we go. Watch <laughs> me die and be at the end of the game. Oh, is it the end of the game? Yeah, I think Aww. so. He said three dragons and a princess. Uh, right, Mick? Third dragons on level 24. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He's massive. He's so huge. <gasps> Watch out for the dot. The dot is evil. Oh, Oh. <laughs> level 24, oh. 14850. Well, at least you you made it to level 24. Yeah, this is the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Made it to the end. So at least we'll have a game to play again in the yeah. 12 hour. Yeah. And I think That'd I could good. do it next time. Mick Muse so. says, "I'm sorry." <laughs> Don't it be sorry. It it's challenging game. But fair. Yeah. Very fair. Yeah, it is a very fair game. Because uh, we were playing it, and he was asking if it was balanced, a very balanced game. It feels I very balanced. I think it's balanced. very balanced. Yeah. Hooray, hooray for quad size player. <laughs> Boo, the end. Yeah, that was a really colorful, but mass, still good looking. Yeah. But massive dragon. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good. You don't see quad size players too often on, no. in games because they usually just look like big, chunky things. I like that though. Yeah, that one's good. So the mm -hmm. dragon got bigger. And oh, and double each, each and level, and then yeah, four times the size. Yeah. So yeah, obviously awesome game. Very, very good. So to wrap, very, very good. To yeah. wrap up today's gaming, uh, Spider Fighter. Yes. Um, awesome. Yeah. Super awesome game. I I love playing that game, even though I'm not as adept at it as you are. Yeah. It is a fun, fun game to play. Hard, it hard, is. hard, yeah. hard, and it it's not easy game. to get the patch. You do have to practice quite a bit to get the patch. Mm. Um, oh, plus the Dark Lord after the dragon. Oh, okay. There's even more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe have a couple more lives when you hit level 24. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the key. Uh, the dragon look at, didn't look anything like a duck. Where is the respect for tradition? <laughs> that's from Adventure. Um, and we played a little bit of Galaga just to see the two, two players, to show people the two players yeah. both simultaneously. Which is very cool, too. Yeah. Good option. Yep. And then Deep, Sco Deep Stone Catacomb, where we made it pretty far, but not all the way. Um, but so amazing cool. game. So amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah. it'll be great when he has finished it and puts it out for the public. Yeah. Which I'm guessing is very soon. There's no problem I don't. The game I don't, yeah. I all. mean, you made it, other than apparently the last two two bosses, guys. the yeah. last two guys, yeah. the, the playthrough was really smooth, so. Yeah. Um, and I haven't played um, level two, which everything takes two times as many hits to kill. Oh, yeah, that would be challenging for sure. And then level three is completely random. There are no dragons, though. It goes forever. You just it's keep an, playing Oh, and playing. Infinite. infinite. You're going for score in that case. Yeah, yeah. score and levels. For that gotcha. One. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got a lot of variation. Very, very cool. Yep, super cool. Mm -hmm. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in on a Friday night yeah. and spending time with us. We'll be back on Wednesday, where we've got a bunch of nuts, some more games. Let's see what we've got. We've got Caverns, Flappo Bird, uh, You Can't Win, and Cave-In. So we've got four games. Nothing too extensive. Cave-In is a bit long, and Caverns... I don't know how long Caverns is, is but it's very difficult. Mm. Um, Flapple Bird and You Can't Win are super short games, so mm. those won't take too long. Mm -hmm. And that'll be with Erlen at 11 a.m. on mm -hmm. Wednesday. And uh, then next Friday, we might be playing Stampede. I don't know if anything else comes up that we might fill in, but mm. we might do the next Activision patch challenge mm. doing Stampede. That's um, then Darcy? Yeah, with mm -hmm. Darcy. And then the, if we complete Stampede, we might do Keystone Capers as well. Ooh. Yep. Okay. That's the next cool. challenge. Or if we feel like playing some other games yeah. that came up, we might do that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thanks for tuning in, yes. everyone. Yeah. Uh, let's see who's still around. 
We've got Ty Sposta, Mick Muse, RC17, Nathan Strum, um, Arena Foot. Arena Foot. And somebody checked out a little while ago as well. Who was that? Oh, DJ Mips jumped in. I didn't even see them type something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I feel it's more of a struggle if you struggle with the hardware from time right. to time. Um, there was Trey Guy. Trey Guy, had to yeah. go because he couldn't watch the stream too well on yeah. his <laughs> slow internet. But uh, yes, thanks, uh, Mick Muse, for making this awesome game. Yeah. Um, that everybody will soon be able to yeah. enjoy very, very along fun. with us. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday night. Oh, let's switch over to the big. The big view, take off the poll question. There you go. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Friday night <laughs> and your weekend. And um, next weekend is a long weekend, isn't it? Yes, it is. For yeah. us in the U.S., it's... The weekend, or it's, it's the fourth. It's midweek. What do I they get? I don't know get? how that works. They just yeah. get that day off? Or does it get doesn't get pushed because uh, it's the fourth. But the first is the Monday for us. So Canada Day is actually so we get a long Monday. Weekend. So we get a long weekend. So you get a midweek holiday i don't know i don't know how it works in the u.s do they do they make it a long weekend or do you get the fourth off they must force the fourth the fourth yeah mm -hmm. um rather than working on the holiday yeah. and then getting the monday or the friday off they wouldn't do that because then you wouldn't be able so. to go out in the fourth it's not like a bank I, holiday so i think they just give the fourth off yeah. wherever I, it lies it lies but so. we're lucky because we have a long weekend this year just happens to yeah, fall on a monday on that, on that day awesome. i think yeah. it was last year as well I think it was a friday last year well if it's on a weekend then you get a day off yeah on the monday right so not in addition but no in, oh on the weekend yeah it might have been on the yeah. weekend yeah yeah anyway anyway so I digress. <laughs> yeah so we'll be back on wednesday yeah uh normal time 11 a.m on wednesday we'll play some more uh new well none of them are new newish and old homebrew yeah i think caverns is pretty new but the rest are a little bit old but it's good older. to dive into the archives once in a while well and there's, play there's, some there are a lot of good games back there so you might as well Tons. pull them up mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay so we'll see you next time Bye. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>